Hola, good morning from Spain. Although I know in Australia it's nearly four, well it is 4.30 in the afternoon. But here in Spain it's 8.30 in the morning. The sun has not long been up. It rises late here, so we're all late risers. Uh, I was hoping that the academy would be bustling with people this morning, but we had a pizza night last night um, to celebrate finishing half of our training. So yeah, not many people are up and about. But just thought before I get stuck into what I'm learning, this is the clinic here at the ANF Academy and where we do all of our practical training. So there's four benches. Um, that's the magic office of Irina, who is the Academy manager, the boss of all of us instructors. She's a physiotherapist native to Spain. Um, so that's the actual clinic space. This building here where the ANF Academy actually is, is an old Arab hospital. So it is quite large. Um, we have, this is the entrance to the academy here. So in Spain, you'll see a lot of this kaleidoscope kind of color because in uh, Arab cultures, this is how they decorate. Then there is uh, probably six or seven offices down here. You can see this is all open. So when it rains, which it hardly does here, but it did yesterday, they cover this up. And then there's a hole upstairs where we're staying. And then we come through to the living space kitchen area and we have Ma over here. Hi, hello. She, she makes sure that everything we say is legal and you know, <laughs> makes sure that we're all taken care of, Trans, gets everything translated so we're not signing our lives away. This is the kitchen where we all gather and then in here, oh I might have found someone, in here this is our lecture room. And this here is Chuck. Good Chuck morning. is um, all the way from America. What are you? Uh, what's your favourite learning so far, Chuck? Uh, probably the brain discs that we've had to wear the past few days. <laughs> Quite an experience. I haven't told them about that yet, but I'm about to. It's yeah, yesterday for me felt like it went for about 72 hours, and it was just yeah. Anyway, I'll get into that in a minute. And then of course, every great learning space needs a pool. Um, and green space. So this is on about an acre and a half, this um, property. It's right near Porta Benus, which is uh, a very interesting part of Spain. It's, uh, if you want to see Maseratis, Ferraris, Bentleys, um, you know, any car that costs, you know, $400,000, if you want to see them one after the other, then this is the place to be. Plus all your maxi, like $40 million yachts are often here. Not far from Marbella, which is a beautiful, beautiful little town, or like an old town and a, and a new town where we went out for tappers and everything. But what am I learning so far? So what am I going to bring home to Australia? Well, thanks for asking. So as Chuck mentioned, uh, Mikhail's always inventing and always trying new things to get the human body to normalize to be the best it can be. So his latest inventions that he's working on that are unavailable yet, but will be coming, are his brainwave discs. So yes, we've been through every brainwave you can imagine. So we've had the gamma discs. These are actually the gamma discs are what I'm wearing at the moment. These would have to be my absolute favorite in terms of concentration and learning. If you know me well, you know I don't concentrate for long periods of time. I get bored, um, I get fatigued. Well, with these on, I haven't been. I've just been completely absorbing everything that Mikhail's been teaching us and Irina's been teaching us without feeling like I've had 10 coffees. It's just this really nice focused state. Then we tried the Alpha device. Now, when he put the Alpha device on me, I got the giggles. I felt like I was going back in time to when I used to party a lot back in Melbourne. So that was an interesting experience. I liked that one. And then he put beta discs on us and to be honest i can't even remember what happened when the beta discs were on because i think we I, he, we didn't wear them for long because none of us were really concentrating on what he was saying we we're all kind of not tired but just really low mood then came the theta discs well <laughs> holy crap is all i can say so when he applied the theta discs to me we were doing a particular protocol i did mine it was quite a weird way that i'd done it um, and Mikhail questioned me, why did you do that? Well, unbeknownst to me, I got aggressive. 
and Chuck, who you just met, said, but Claire, you're getting a bit aggressive. And I, in my head, turned, was about to turn around and tell him, no, I'm effing not, when I realized, holy shit, I am getting aggressive. And then all of a sudden, I was just overwhelmed with emotion. It was like all of my traumas that I kept really deeply hidden had, re had like, not the trauma themselves, but all the emotions that I kept re rose up. I had projectile vomit. I was outside in the garden over here, like, oh, oh I was bawling. I felt terrible, but in a good way. It was just, you know, I could feel it from my legs all the way through. It was quite intense. So I kept the discs, the devices on because I know if this was an emotional detox, I needed to move this stuff through me. So it, you know, it didn't affect my life. So that was an interesting experience. And then Mikhail comes back and he says, no worries, I'll sort you all out. And he says to us, I'll put the gamma discs back on. Now, as I said before, the gamma discs were what helped me concentrate. Anyway, he puts these two devices on and I just felt like I wanted to curl up on the couch and have a snuggle. So I actually grabbed Irina, <laughs> who's the academy manager, and was just snuggled into her. And I was like, this is really nice. And Susie was messaging me from Australia saying, CJ's you know, won't get off my boobs. I'm trying to do some stuff. It's night time. And I'm like, oh, that sounds like the perfect place to be. <laughs> and then Irina says to me, they're not the gamma discs. He lied. They were delta discs. So I found the delta discs to be really good in terms of really bringing you down into like a, almost like a sleep state. So that was all the new medical devices for your brain. As I said, they're not available yet, but when they are, holy moly, there will be a whole education program around that. But it will be extraordinary in terms of mental health and, and helping people in that. Plus, you know, helping people be more productive and everything like that. So that was really cool. Um, in terms of education, what are we learning? Well, we're learning like how to perform clinical surgery with our hands. So how do we really find the person's source like how do we find inflammation in the nervous system because as we know that's how inflammation travels it comes through the nervous system so we are being trained to train other health professionals in how to find the nerves and then how to understand what injuries and how many um, injuries would be in relation to that particular nerve so what does that nerve supply how would that impact the body and then of course how to apply the devices so we're learning a lot and i'm just going to turn around here because everybody you know goes on about mikhail he's the brains trust but you know what it would not be possible without sane hey, <laughs> so sane is the ceo the director the one that makes it all work here at the ANF academy without her it would not be worldwide it would not have the effect it has on hundreds of thousands of people around the world. So thank you from Australia for all you do. Yeah. Um, and what's your favorite thing about having us back here at the Academy? Oh, it's that we we made this place to to gather and to share and to 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 educate and, and raise our vibrations and you know everything and it's fabulous to have people back here, you know, like this is, this is why we created this place. This is what this place is for, yeah. you know, this place is not supposed to be empty and just for us to have a nice workplace, you know, that, yeah. that's not really what it's supposed to be. Yeah. So yeah, we can't wait for it to be full on a monthly basis, you know, like with energy and people and lots of different practitioners coming in all the time, you know, sharing yeah. so many things. It's yeah. Awesome. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Thanks. So that was Sane. Without her, nothing happens. So very important. And these are the crazy little pugs that are hers. There's uh, uh, two. One's baby and it keeps licking my legs and I really don't like it. Um, but other than that, so I was hoping that we could meet Mikhail, the inventor. So we're just, oh, this is going to be a long video, of course, because there's lots to do and see here at the Academy. So I'm going to sneak back in through the kitchen just to see if the man himself, just so you get to see what he looks like, understand how big his heart is. Uh, but we'll see, he might not, they don't always come together. So we're just walking through the academy here. Hey, Taya. Hello. Mikhail here, yeah? No. No. Oh, he's not here. But this is Taya. Hi. Ah. 
Which country are you from? Serbia. So you, this is a very worldwide company. So Sane is from Denmark originally. Taya's from Serbia. She's in charge of all the marketing, um, all the interviews, the journalism, and everything that happens here. So all the communications comes from her. Do you live in Serbia? Yeah. yeah. She lives in Serbia. She just comes to Spain. There's people from Sweden here. Mikhail himself is Swedish, um, moved to Spain because he was sick of being cold, which is fair enough. We've got Spanish people working here. Um, we've got, actually there's a lot of Swedes actually, but there's nobody around. This is what happens when you have parties in Spain. Nobody comes to work before 9.30. So um, what else have we been learning? Oh, my legs are covered in devices, as you'll see. So I've had a bit of trouble with my legs, as you know, I broke one last year. Um, but also I've had some Achilles tendonitis since um, starting to learn to run. Well, it turns out I've been walking around with shin splints for 25, 30 years. So you can imagine the inflammation in my legs, which is why they swell up a lot, yada, yada. So I had the brilliance of two Americans, one um, Brazilian and uh, Mikhail and Irina, so I had basically therapists from all around the world working on my legs yesterday and I tell you what they feel amazing today So when I get back, I'm going to be concentrating a lot on my lower legs um, To get them the best they can be so I can actually run But it just oh, this stuff just blows my mind So I can't wait to get back to Australia to share it all with you It's going to make my practice as a practitioner better, but it's also going to make me be able to share this so if you have any friends who are healthcare professionals that you think want to be at the forefront of cutting edge technology oh, that's the other thing so ANF therapy devices are regulated by the TGA in Australia but the most exciting news that came they have been working extraordinarily hard behind the scenes to get it regulated around the world and they got notification yesterday that in the United Arab Emirates, so Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Qatar, places like that, it has now been officially recognized as a medical device and is now authorized for use in hospitals. So how amazing is that? Could you imagine going into hospital and you're in pain after an operation or before you have an operation and somebody applies some medical devices to you that don't put your body full of chemicals, that don't poison you in a way, could you imagine just having the ANF therapy devices on you while you're in hospital and then you get better because the body's normalized. How cool would that be? So that's what's happening in the Middle East. Of course, it's got European certifications. It's got Australian certifications. They're working on the FDA over in America. So this stuff is real. It is the future of medicine. So, you know, my clients know this. They know how effective it is. It is not a quick fix. Sometimes we have to go on a long journey of healing. You have to make some tweaks to your lifestyle and things like that, but we can help you normalize. And if you are a health professional or you have friends that are health professionals and want to be ahead of the game, want to get results that none of your um, clients will because you're taught to think about the biochemical processes within the body, not just treating a symptom of something, then give us a shout because this stuff is going to be big. It's the future of medicine. It is amazing and we can teach you. All right. Thanks for tuning in. I uh, hope you got some value out of this. I hope you enjoy looking at 8.30 in the morning here in Spain. Um, beautiful weather. It is coming into autumn here, but it's beautiful. It's probably better weather than it is home in Queensland coming into summer. But anyway, I'll catch you all later. Thanks for watching.